Morning all. And what beautiful morning it is. It's still um it's still obviously freezing, but but we're nice and snug. Um I just wanted to take um ten minutes just to answer um a question. Now I've been asked this question a few times and I haven't replied to it. I don't think it's as simple as black or white, yes or no, synthetic or natural. The question is, what's the best sleeping bag for me for extreme camping? Extreme is what I call extreme, minus 15, minus 20. Um, and I... And I'll introduce you to a couple of bags. I'd call these best in class. Um, we're looking at a natural. This is the RAB Neutrino. This is the 600. This is 90% European goose down, 10% feathers. It weighs a sniff over a kilo. And... Um, yeah, a few features, we've got anti-snag zip as you'd expect, we've got a little, um, a little pocket inside there, can't really fit much in there, maybe your keys, your phone, a head torch, um, really generous baffle. Now, this is rated to the extreme of minus 31, that's pretty cold. And as you can see, big generous baffle around the top, so the air's not going to blow out of you. Um, so that's the uh, that's the wrap Neutrino 600. Now, best in class synthetic. This is your snug pack in ATAC. It's <laughs> awesome camouflage. Just love it. Yeah, this is the. Um, Antarctica RE. RE stands for Reflector Therm. Um, reflector Therm. If you imagine survival blanket, the silver survival blanket, they actually incorporate that into the insulation within this bag. And it claims to be 15% more reflective or it reflects 15% more of the body heat back into the bag, or you lose 15% less, whichever way you want to put it. Whichever way you put it, this is rated extreme at minus 50. Phenomenal bag, really hard wearing. You can feel that you can, gr you can drag this through a hedge backwards and it's not going to rip, it's not going to tear. You see, the footwell at the bottom, it's um, like a real hard material and then it grades down to a softer material and then you've got your nice fluffy innards. Now, we're talking about consideration. One kilo, three kilos. So that's got to be a consideration when you're choosing a winter bag, an extreme bag is weight an issue? Is pack size an issue? Is finance, budget an issue? That retails at £330. That retails at £170. Okay, so that's a consideration. Also, your environment, this, natural, does not like getting wet, it does not like getting damp. If you get, if you get a down bag or a down jacket wet, it will lose its ability to hold in the heat. So that is a serious issue. If you're thinking of going out camping, Let's say in the woods. Now woods would normally be a little damp. There'd be condensation, there'd be moisture in the air. I wouldn't take this into the woods with me. 
If I was going up a mountain, nice and open, freezing cold, I'd be taking this. If I had a long old height, I'd be taking this. Now, you're going to see pack size here. You're going to see the difference. That's got to be a consideration. If you've got limited space in your rucksack, you'll see in a minute. I'm going to pack both of these down. So, in essence, the question's not, well, for me, I need both, to be honest. But all I do with a wrap is just fold her over a little bit, push her down, because it's like it's a, it is a compression sack, like a wet sack, you know, a wet bag. So this goes over here. Now I haven't overly compressed it. That's your kit size. That's your bag size, weighing in at a kilo. Now we'll come over to the snug pack, the Antarctica RE. It makes me smile. It's an awesome bag. Like I said, we've got comfort rating at minus 20 and extreme minus 50. We ain't gonna find minus 50 over here, but I'll tell you what, if minus 18 and a strong wind, it'll feel like minus 50. You'll be grateful of a bag like this. Now, we're talking about Stuff in the bags, putting your sleeping bag back in. Some people will roll up a sleeping bag. I think that's a bit dangerous because when it comes to compressing, if you roll it up and you compress it, it could tear the outer skin. If you spend £300 on a sleeping bag or even £150 on a sleeping bag, you want to look after it. Now, when you're storing a sleeping bag, you don't want to be storing it compressed. With the wrap, you get this lovely cotton, like a pillowcase. And you can store your bag in there, so it's not, it's not compressed. It's packed away, but it's packed away nice and neat and tidy. The rest of my bags, I tend to just lie them in the attic. Right. So, you can see straight away the difference in pack size. Now, make sure my compression straps are, are nice and straight. There we go. I'll just start off. Getting warm. <laughs> Very warm. Right, so I've just started her off. Put a bit of weight behind her. There we go. Not going to over compress it. However, that's what I'm talking about. One kilo, three kilos. You know. Pretty small, not the largest by any means, but if you're in those conditions, you don't really want to be packing, well, minimal, do you? Right, so your consideration when choosing an extreme bag, your environment is it damp? Is it going to be dry? Financial. 300 pound, 170 pound. Pack size, are you limited? And pack weight. If there's something else I've missed out, guys, join in. Um, you know, it's an open forum. If I've missed anything else out that um, you guys out there need to consider when choosing a, an extreme bag, comment away. Bless you guys. I'm going to make the most of this weather. 
and I'll um I'll see you guys later on. God bless.